this is Jessica Hartman. I'm here today to interview the leader of a new upstart religion known as Dushakism. It's a mysterious religion viewed by many as a cult. These are their members, known amongst themselves as the Elevated. We are now awaiting their leader, the Divine Illuminator. Here he comes now. energy sauce in that. Alright. Hold on, not that much play, boy. It's still early. I got a function. Okay. Spit at me. What do you say to critics who regard your religion as a cult? The divine illuminator doesn't waste his time deflecting the ignorance of the unelevated. You know, when Joe Smith told people that Jesus wanted to start the Mormons up, didn't exactly throw him a congratulations party, you know. Now the boys own Utah. So I say, dude, say. That's what they do, let them do it. There have also been claims that Dushakism is based on a false set of events designed to manipulate the emotions of your followers. Those rumors were started by individuals who are intolerant to unfamiliar faith practices. Allow me to educate you. Shotgun! This right here is the esteemed doctrine of universal lightning, AKA the holy shotgun. A composition book. Well, we were using the three ring binder at first, but the pages kept ripping out and, you know, the rings kept missing each other when you try to close it up. So this right here is fine for now. Now let's start with chapter one, the divine constructionation. This is our supreme deity, the Mega Master Dynamacy, or the Mega MD for short. Unlike Allah, he don't care if you draw him as long as you get his hairline right. A lot of people be drawn on with his wig pushed all back looking like George Jefferson. This is a Gorg Gog. Mega MD created these beasts to protect the world from any evil forces he might create later by accident. But instead of being good protectors, the Gorg Gogs, led by their leader Serpenticus, decided to infest the universe with anarchy. So Mega MD banished them to the ultra bad zone where the disobedient go when they die. In 1918, Serpenticus created a portal to Earth and sent thousands of war gogs here to destroy the human race. Luckily for us, Mega MD had secretly knocked up a Jewish lady 22 years earlier and had a son by the name of George Burns. George Burns, the comedian? No, George Burns, the reggae artist. Yeah, the comedian, but besides being a great comic, he was also an even greater prophet. Now the most elevated George Burns slaughtered 97% of the Earth's war gogs. But now it's all up to me, cause see, I too was conceived when Mega MD smashed and splashed up with my mom while my dad was at work. An interesting origin story. Yeah, J.K. Rollins ain't got nada on the boy. <laughs> I see, and do you make your members quit their jobs when they come to move on the compound? Hell no, man! There are no unemployed individuals within the elevated. You can't be broke over here. Yo, you gotta pay tithes. Food ain't free. Like, I don't know how to make fish and boy and multiply, you know? And uh, you gotta pay more tithes. Some of the family members of the Elevated have said that they are not able to get in touch with loved ones. Such insinuations as those are unfounded and based on hypothetical inferences. Excuse me, my divine illuminator. My son turns five tomorrow. I humbly request permission to attend his birthday party. Hey! You can say what? You know this is the George Burns movie marathon holiday commemoration weekend? You gonna miss Sunshine Boys for a secular birthday orgy? You pissing me off. I'm about to throw some rice at you. Now look at you, you got that rice all up in your face. Now take that, see? Ah. Let some pit get jump out your mouth at me. Look, get your ass back in line and shut your lips. <laughs> Mr. Illuminator, what do you have to say of the allegations that your religion is involved in the distribution of large volumes of marijuana, cocaine, and other illegal narcotics? Uh, nah, uh, nah, 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 n
What about the evidence the FBI allegedly uncovered linking this organization to a human trafficking and teenage prostitution ring? Um, well, this interview is over. Oh, it sure is. You are under arrest. Who? Popo? Go, 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 go. In the name of the Mega Master Dynamics, y'all gonna fall back. I'm gonna blow the bacon out of my dude, and I'm like, gotta. Kenneth Dushaka Baker, a.k.a. the Divine Illuminator, Supreme Shalik Mohalaban, was sentenced to 16 years in prison. He is still practicing Dushakism and has managed to develop an even larger fellowship behind bars, which now includes Bernie Madoff, Charles Manson, and Lindsay Lohan. When he is released, he says he plans to run for state senate in the name of the most glorious Mega Master. Amen. Take that, huh? They got all that rice up in your face.